Hi there, I'm Stephen with WatchR Capital, and this video is about iBonds. And no, that's not a bond issued by the Apple Store. It's a bond issued by Uncle Sam. iBonds earn interest based on a combined fixed rate and an inflation rate that is set twice a year, in May and November. The current fixed rate is a whopping 0%, which is about what it's been since May of 2008. But inflation is historically high, so the inflation rate on an iBond is 4.8% for six months for those I-bonds issued between May and October 31st of 2022. So the annualized rate is 9.6%, which is respectable given the returns of the stock and bond markets this year, which I cover in this video, and spoiler alert, they were not good. The minimum I-bond purchase amount is $25, and the maximum amount is $10,000, and that is per social security number per calendar year. You can purchase I-bonds directly from the Treasury Department by going to treasurydirect.gov and I posted that link and a link to other FAQs in the description of this video. To set up an account, click on Individuals, My Accounts, Open an Account. Choose your account type and fill in your information, establish a password, and set up your security questions. Treasury Direct will then send you an email that looks something like this with your account number. Log back into the system and complete the setup process. In this case, I'm going to select Series I bonds. Then I would link a bank account and purchase the desired amount. And that amount will yield 4.81% for the next six months from the purchase date of the I-bond. And that's it. I-bonds earn interest for 30 years unless you cash them in early. You can cash them in after one year, but if you do it before five, you lose three months of interest. So if you cash a bond in after 15 months, you only get to keep 12 months of interest. So make sure you don't need the deposited funds for at least 15 months. And I'd rather own an I-bond right now than leave my money in a bank account earning next to nothing in interest to try and keep up with inflation. I'd rather own I-bonds than annuities because I don't like annuities because of the counterparty risk associated with the issuer and the conflict of interest associated with the sellers, which I detail in these videos. I would not want to own an I-bond as a long-term investment because the expected real rate of return is also zero, which is found by taking the investment's rate of return and subtracting inflation. So I-bonds are basically structured to preserve purchasing power and not grow it. If you need help selecting a growth investment, check out this video. If you like this I-bond video, then I click that like button and subscribe for future finance videos. I'm Steven with WatchGuard Capital. Invest your time wisely.